Tennessee Titans had a 10-0 lead and a 17-7 lead in the first half on Sunday in Kansas City. People were starting to think maybe the Tennessee Titans could actually pull it off, get back to the Super Bowl for the first time in 20 years. It was not to be. The Titans lose 35-24, and now they have to pick up the pieces, Chris. And two big questions they have going forward, contractual issues. Ryan Tannehill, the guy who became the starting quarterback six weeks in and was great, highest passer rating in the league at 117.5. He's due to be a free agent. Derrick Henry, the NFL's leading rusher with 1,540 yards and the first guy in NFL history to have three straight games with 180 or more rushing yards. He's due to be a free agent. They got some big questions they have to resolve fairly quickly. Yeah, they do. I mean, Ryan Tannehill, they got to bring him back. I mean, come on. He's, he's part of, like, the DNA of this team right now. He gave the organization a boost. You know, you got, you got to bring him back and just see if you can ride this momentum into the 2020 season. Derrick Henry, same thing. I mean, hey, the team is built around the offensive line and the run game. So I, I look at that and go, yeah, you got to bring him back too. And Derrick Henry, for the sledgehammer he is, let's not forget the first two years he played in the seat in the NFL, he didn't get a lot of wear and tear. So this is not a guy that's like your typical, oh, going into year five type running back in that way where you just go, oh, wait, he's really beat up. They have they rode him hard the last two years, especially in the months of November and December. But he should be somewhat fresh that way. So I think they got to get that done, Mike. I mean, that's the first thing that jumps out to me. And then the other thing that really jumps out to me on the offensive side of the ball, I think they got talent and pieces. They got it all going, but they got to grow the offense. You know, I, I think we saw, you know, just a little bit of it on Sunday. Again, when the run game didn't work, there's just not enough pass, co pass concepts and creativity in the pass game to kind of carry, out of, carry them out of some of those moments we saw on Sunday. And that would be the thing that I think that the next thing that's really big for them on the offensive side of the ball is just expanding the offense, being more creative for when you do play that team that can slow down Derrick Henry and you can't control the line of scrimmage. Yeah, I don't disagree with anything you said. However, my lingering concern would be the franchise tag, the transition tag. Yeah. Look, the Titans, like the Buccaneers and the Cowboys, may be rooting for no new labor deal because if there isn't a new labor deal by the start of the league year, you get one of each, a franchise tag and a transition tag, which comes in handy if you got Dak Prescott and Amari Cooper or Shaq Barrett and Jameis Winston or in Tennessee, Ryan Tannehill and Derrick Henry. If you ultimately only have one tag to use on Tannehill or Henry, who do you tag? Oh, uh, I think you got to tag uh, Derrick Henry there. That's the guy you go with. You know, you got to play the fact that Ryan Tannehill – is going to want to be back. You know, he can't sit there and just go, oh, well, there's definitely going to be some team on the market that's going to want me and paying starting quarterback money. No, that's not a guarantee. Plus, you know, you you want to build on something you built this past year. And, and Tannehill knows he's kind of carved himself a little spot within this organization. And there's something to build on here going forward. So I think you can almost call Ryan Tannehill's buff, bluff a little bit as compared to Derrick Henry. I would franchise Derrick Henry if it had to come down to one of the two. I agree with you. It's cheaper to franchise tag, and they're going to have $21 million that flies off the books as well when Marcus Mariota walks away. But speaking of quarterbacks, so many of them out there this year. Supply outweighs demand, and I think the history of Ryan Tannehill, the concern that maybe it was just the planets lining up for him and the injury issues that we saw in the past – I think that that means he's not going to get the kind of offer that the Titans wouldn't be able to say, hey, come on, we'll pay you the same. Stick around here. That, that's right. I just can't imagine somebody just like blowing the doors off of Ryan Tannehill and his agent to where they're like, oh, my gosh, we can't turn this down. You're right. There is a lot of there's a lot of supply out there this year between the draft and free agency. When you start to like hammer it out, you go, whoa, there's some names there to be had. You know, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, we don't even have a guy like Andy Dalton on that list right there. You know, Teddy Bridgewater is not on the list as well. I mean, there, there's more names to be thrown in. Oh, he is on the list. Sorry. So there's a lot of names to go around. You know, the other thing is, too, to me. Hey, let me let me throw something yeah, out. I, yeah, I just got an idea. Right, I got right, an idea. Right. If you're the Titans, I mean, you can be coy. You don't even have to say, ah, we don't think there's going to be anything out there. You can say, hey, you know what? If you're not going to sign this deal now, we're going to start looking at our options. I mean, I see Drew Brees' name on there. If the Saints decide to go with Taysom Hill, and I want to keep playing, and I'm Drew Brees, and Nashville isn't all that far from New Orleans. And I see I've got Derrick Henry. And I've I've got a defense that was good enough to get to the NFC or the AFC championship, excuse me. And it's, you know, a division where I think I can go in and be competitive. Yeah. And Tom Brady may not be on the Patriots anymore. 
I, if I'm Drew Brees, I'm very interested in that. If I'm the Titans, I don't know. Drew Brees, Ryan Tannehill, which one do you want? Well, I mean, I think Ryan Tannehill has more potential for the future right now. Uh, yeah, you're right. Brees might be a quick fix and certainly be a name and drive a lot of excitement there. Uh, so that is that is interesting. But you're right. They can call the bluff of Ryan Tannehill. And he's got a spot. You know, and there's just only 31 of them left in the football. So you almost sometimes as a quarterback, you just go, man, I built something here. I got to stay here. The other thing we didn't hit on, Mike, the Titans got to find some pass rushers. Like we saw, they can't get there with the front four against Kansas City. That'll be a big thing, too, for them in the offseason. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.